Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stark Music Musician, and Reason 10.2 is coming out tomorrow, Wednesday, September 26th, and this video just, I want to give you a few pointers for getting ready to install it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is know, are you eligible for Reason 10.2? If you've previously bought Reason 10, you can download Reason 10.2 for free. If you don't own Reason 10, then you can't get it, um, or you have to buy Reason 10 first to get it. So how do you get it? Well, Tomorrow at some point, Wednesday, September 26th, um, if you're on the sequencer window, a ribbon will pop up along the top and it'll say, a new version of Reason is out. Would you like to update something to that effect? And you click yes, install and restart. It will download the files, install them, and restart your computer. Easy breezy. Um, now, that's the easy part of it. Um, the other questions are, if you've been in the beta, you should definitely be sure to delete the beta um, at some point. I don't think it will interfere with Reason 10.2 officially because they run in different, I guess, clients or whatever you'd call it, but it is taking up hard drive space, so you should go ahead and delete the beta because the real version is going to be better than the beta. Um, the second thing is, should you update? Almost always they propeller heads ends up releasing like a 10.2.1 to fix some minor bugs and undoubtedly they will probably be doing that again this time um, but I still think that I've used the beta and it seems to work really well uh, there's probably no reason not to upgrade today uh, if you're really cautious you might want to wait a couple weeks just to wait till they work out all the bugs if there are any bugs but I was having no problem using it in the beta and the beta is probably worse than the final client so that's should you upgrade or update I guess the other thing is I like to take the opportunity every time a new version of reason comes out to clean up my house uh, not my physical house but my musical house where I want to make sure that I'm backing everything up properly that um, I'm cleaning out my hard drives and getting rid of old stuff. Basically just an excuse for a little bit of spring cleaning. So um, with that, I'd say that I hope you enjoy Reason 10.2. I hope you're looking forward to it. Um, once I've had a chance to use it a bit, I'll be sure to put out a review. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe so I can actually give you some future tips about using Reason 10.2, or just Reason in general, even if you're not using Reason 10. So thanks.